want to welcome everyone to this uh, stream that we're having on the demonstration. It's actually uh, uh, created because I received several uh, requests to put together a little video for some of my live stream friends who are now move who are now using Wirecast uh, and they want to use the DSLR as an optional camera, even as a primary camera. And unfortunately, as good as Wirecast is, uh, the instructions are somewhat hard to locate. So the purpose of this video is to allow you to uh, use your DSLR, DSLR camera via your uh, USB uh, port on your computer. I use a Toshiba um, PC, and you know I have Apple's, but I prefer the PC uh, when I'm doing my uh, when I'm doing my live stream. But either way, the purpose of this video is to kind of make you comfortable and how easy it is in, in um, connecting your wire stream and the commands you need to use so it's uh, recognized when you turn on wire stream, you know where to capture it and then you know how to use it so that you've got a great DSLR which is, give, which is going to give you a HD quality video feed and that cer certainly will enhance whatever product you're uh, streaming. So. Uh, sit back and enjoy. It's a short video, but I appreciate you tuning in, and hopefully it'll help you. Okay, let me walk you through the process. I've got my uh, Canon camera hooked up. It's already on my tripod, and uh, if you have a uh, modern Canon, you're going to have what is called an EOS utility that pops up as soon as you turn the camera on. I've got mine in video mode, and this is what it looks like. So you're simply going to see these four uh, options, and you're going to go to this third setting, which is camera settings. Let's click that. Then you're going to get this uh, dialog box, and you're going to click on live view shoot. Okay. Wait a second, and then there's your image right there. And so I like to go in and click that on. And so my camera is connected, we're working, and let's get into the live stream, I mean to, uh, into Wirecast. So now I'm going to add that camera into uh, Wirestream. And so the way you do it is go to this plus. This where it gets a little bit tricky, but no need to panic. Let's expand that out. So we get a full screen. Okay, so let's expand that out. So we're going to go to the screen capture. And the screen capture, we're just going to click that. These are the options that you can select from video capture, audio capture, network, screen capture is what we're going to do. So we're going to be adding a screen capture. And then this box will show up. Here's where you got to make these changes. Uh, so here under capture type, it's not monitor, it's window. So we go to window, and of course you see it blank. And you scroll down here, uh, select window monitor, choose audio device, let's just click on configure. So now here's where you've got to change your uh, window application so it will read your uh, EOS live window. So let's see what options I have. There it is right there, EOS utility. And then I'll go here for my live stream, remote live window, there it is right there. Click that, okay. And there's my image right there, so we're good to go. Now, the next thing we have to do, and most important, and this is what throws a lot of people for a loop, is, okay, this is the image that it shows. It just gives you a raw feed. I've got to uh, minimize and make this more presentable. So the way you do that is you go to this dialog box right here, second one. You're going to click, and it's going to open up a new set of commands. And that's where you can go in and crop this image. And so we're going to crop it. And there's my crop. Now, unlike, uh, let's just say OBS and other utilities where you do an alternate alt uh, uh, command and you can, you can drag your image, um, with Wirecast, you're going to have to just crop it more of a manual basis. So we're going to do the left first. See how that moves? So we're going to go right there, crop it, and then we're going to do the right. Crop it, because this is the image that it shows. Top. Crop it. And the bottom, crop it. And presto. And there's my image right there. And just like with any other application, 
Uh, you simply, if you want to expand it out to a full window, you just simply do so. You hold it and drag it, and and there's my camera feed right there. It's that simple. Again, but you've got to be able to connect with your uh, menu options on Wirecast and knowing how to present it. And now you've got a um, HD quality camera in addition to whatever cameras you're using. I happen to stream on this particular platform using two cameras, my camcorder plus my uh, Canon DSLR. But I could also do the same if I wanted to add, let's just say, a, a USB, another USB, which I do have. Uh, but for right now, and the purposes, I use my... Um, I use my DSLR. One other important thing about my DSLR, uh, you want to. I use a zoom lens, so I've got this one set up at my 300 millimeter, so I can zoom in. Because otherwise, if you use, let's say, a 55 millimeter, you'll get an image, but it'll be so far away you won't be able to home in on the target you're trying to shoot. And one of the nice things about uh, um, uh, live streaming is that you're able to uh, put the person right inside the scene, so they can actually see and hear. And that's what we've got in here. So this is how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, um, just shoot me a, a note. Um, and again, if you like the video, hit like. And if you dislike, dislike. Any comments would be appreciated. It's pretty simple, straightforward. But unfortunately, I did not see anything when I was searching YouTube that gave these sort of specific instructions. Maybe it was so simple that they just thought people assumed the proper way to do it. But if that was the case, then I would not have received the uh, calls and messages I received on how in the heck do you set up a DSLR using Wirecast as your streaming option. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope this helps you uh, somehow, some way with your live streaming.